it's starting to look much better already and of course if you need you go back to the brush and start adding some bits some small flames that follow the debris and again we go back to the smudge tool and pull on those to give the appearance of, of flames coming out of the of the impact zone and it's a, it's a build up process you go back you paint a little bit more and you go again to the smudge tool and adjust those right here I, I reduce the opacity of the layer just a little bit and this is the the objective for this for this layer to make the base for the for the impact impact area of the of the fire inside the building okay so next up what we will be doing is grabbing our custom cloudy brush here gonna adjust the settings again pen pressure on both shape dynamics and transfer and add little bits of little streams that follow the the pieces coming out from the from this impact just a just a hint not not to all of the all of the pieces just some of them and then change gray, gray to a, a medium gray just paint some smoke coming out from certain certain areas of the of the impact here just a hint of smoke coming out okay so now what we'll be doing it's making a selection with the polygon lasso tool of the top of this building where the other impact take pla takes place we just select the top of the building here the tower and finish it up with a, a random looking end because we're gonna copy him and paste in a new layer this this piece of the building so we can break it up without touching the the background once we have the copy and paste of, uh, of the top of the building we're gonna do another new layer where we will use the cloning technique to block the top of, uh, of the building in the from the background so then we can go back to the to the cut and pasted piece we already have and move that around so use using the the cloning tool selecting the source from the background we just block the selection where where we cut the top of the building then we make the the top of the building copy it and paste it visible again and we just rotate it and move it a little bit in a position where the where the impact takes place and as you can see we can move it freely around because we blocked already what's up from the background then we're gonna cut another piece we're gonna destroy this building in two pieces giving it uh, some uh, random appearance that the tower is breaking up from the impact and the same as we did with the the other building the hole and the and the pieces in a new layer we're gonna choose a, a medium gray a dar darker gray and start painting in some volume for from what would be would have been the inside of the of the building so it doesn't look flat just painting with our little brush as shown as shown here and as we did previously just indicating a little bit of volume 
for this these pieces and then adding some debris falling falling around and some pieces falling back and then as the same as we did with the with the other impact we just add some highlights to those little pieces that gives us a quick and easy appearance of uh, of volume for all those those little pieces and for those big big pieces from the from the building and now the same as we did with the other impact we need to add a little bit of hints of orange and red so it appears that that it has some fire in there so we're going to use the same fire layer that we that we painted on the the other impact just choosing a bright orange and start painting all little bits of fire inside and combining it with the with the bright red and since this layer is in vivid vivid light you can you can easily see how it takes the same effect as the other one and again as we did with the other one we go to this match tool and pull it pull from those those orange bits so it it starts looking like like flames in this section now we're gonna distort uh, this stream up here a little bit more so it fits our our zone of impact and as you can see I unlinked the mask so the mask for the top of the building stays there and now what we will be doing is an, in a new layer on top set this mode to overlay and using the gradient tool and this gradient I have prepared for you we're gonna add the glow for this impacts just drag a, a gradient on each impact as shown here and you can see how it how that works and again using our good old smudge tool we start pulling out from these gradients the impact effect flames in the direction following the the bits and pieces if you need to vary the the size of the smudge tool uh, that's okay just to make it look more like a, an impact instead of just a, an orange glow and the same we do the same for the for the back in this other impact and now I'm uh, just erasing from the this building in front that wouldn't be influenced by the by the glow of that impact back there now the the same as we did with the other stream using the polygon lasso tool make a selection of the lower stream so we can adjust it a little bit its its angle and position just a little bit sh as shown here remember to keep it in line with the the other impact because we are going to we're going to be painting impacts on these other buildings here I'm going to speed it up a little bit but it's the same process we we have created twice already using a dark gray we indicate the holes of the impacts and then sampling from the from the same buildings grays and lights we add some detail and, and add some some bits and pieces flying around just to indicate uh, what happened with this with this impact zone the same for the back here this impact is gonna go through this first first building onto the this one back here just paint some in some small details on the on the building that indicates some some debris what's what was what is left some beams and such some pieces of concrete 
and once we pull back our our layer for the for the streams we're going to use the mask on them